There's a construction site near my house. They had to take down a bunch of trees. Um, I only have a, an electric chainsaw, but you can see that uh, there were some nice pieces of wood hanging out in that site. And I'm not 100% certain what all this wood is. I know there's some, a little bit of cherry there. I think some of this is oak, um, but I'm not totally certain. Super excited to dig in and uh, take a take a look. I think the first one that I'm going to play with on the lathe is this guy right here. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with him, but let's take a look. So here it is. Um, I think you can see this is uh, maple. Uh, it's got some interesting discoloration in the center. Um, I'm going to try to make a bowl. I don't think that I'm going to split this. It's a pretty small chunk of wood. I'm probably just going to get one piece out of it. So I will uh, take it. No, I'm not going to take it to the bandsaw. What I'm going to do here is put my screw chuck here. Um, or actually, I'll probably put a face plate here, chisel it uh, flat, put a face plate here. And then I will uh, I'll mount it on the on the lathe. It should be fun. Okay, as you can see, I've got it mounted up on the uh, face plate. It's pretty unbalanced. I think I'm going to take this corner off with the uh, with a handsaw before I do much of anything else. Do any more turning I want to show you some of this grain look at that quilting where that crotch is is just stunning so this is gonna be an interesting bowl um, yeah I'm gonna work on the, the the bottom now but that is really gorgeous they always tell you that you should take these wet shavings off your lathe as soon as possible um, but that that looks like rust I think it's probably a tannin or an oil um, but man that's gonna I'm gonna have to clean that up when you do this wet wood you really need to get all of this sawdust off of the lathe bed or it will rust it. Alright, so this is what it ended up looking like. Um, it is um, seven and a half inches, seven and three quarters in diameter. Um, got some really gorgeous green features in it uh, including this beautiful quilting here really hoping this uh, this doesn't crack too terribly there's the pith that's a little farther down this is a crotch piece um, it's the pith that is farther up so like I said I will make a video on drying this um, just in drying things in general um, but this is really interesting what it's done to my lathe here. I think that'll just wash off, but we'll see. 
Uh, stay tuned for parts two and possibly parts three of this uh, series, and I will see you soon.